welcome to another video from Waters and Stanton. I'm actually in my garden at the moment and uh, one of my uh, interests is antennas. I've recently moved house and the problem I had was erecting a, an effective HF antenna in a short amount of time. But it occurred to me that uh, in so doing I could also talk about erecting wire antennas in general. and. Uh, the antenna I'm using at the moment is an American design called My Antennas. It's an NFED wire antenna. Uh, the one I've got covers 40 through to 10 meters, 66 foot long. The SWR is around about 1.5 to 1, um, going straight into the uh, matching network on the end of the antenna. It also works on the uh, other walk bands, um, but you do need an ATU. Um, to get operation on the wall bands, but as a as a basic 40 through to 10 meter antenna 66 foot long is very effective Right here. We are in the uh, Radio room and I've got a Ellicraft K3 set up feed in the antenna system in order to demonstrate uh, the SWR achievable I'm going to go in closer So you can see the, the display on the left hand side is the combined power meter and SWR meter. The right hand bar graph shows the power out which is set to 100 watts and the left hand bar meter uh, shows the SWR. Both those bar meters are on the left hand side of the panel. Right we're now on the 40 meters and I'm just going to press the auto ATU. That's, re that's resonated it or adjusted it. Now on CW, you can see 100 watts on the right hand side and hardly any movement on the PSW on the left hand side. <coughs> I'm now going to bypass the ATU. Hold that button in there. The ATU now is bypassed. And if I try to tune it, nothing will happen because it's bypassed. Now watch the VSW on the left hand side. In other words there's very little change at all if anything. The VSWR is still about 1.1, 1.2 to 1 indicated on the panel. Right I'm now going to repeat the test on uh, 40 megahertz. If I press the auto ATU button tunes up, send some CW, 100 watts out and barely anything on the left hand the SWR meter. I'm now going to bypass the ATU, just press that button to prove that the ATU is disabled and we'll see what we get now. 100 watts out and again virtually no SWR shown on the meter. That's with no ATU in circuit. Now just to show that there is no trickery here, I'm going to 18 megs. Now 18 megs is not a specified band for this antenna. It will work but with an ATU. So we're on 18 megs now. I'm going to press the auto ATU. Let's tuned it. 100 watts and very little SWR. That's because the antennas <coughs> or the transceiver have been matched into the uh, antenna with the auto ATU. I'm not going to hold that button in. That means that the ATU on the K3 is no longer in circuit. Now let's see what happens. All of a sudden we get BSWR on the left hand side of the meter. That's because there is no auto ATU switched in on the K3 and the antenna is not specified for 18 megs. Now finally let's have a look at 21 megs. <coughs> uh, 21 megs on the K3. Press the auto ATU button to uh, match it. 100 watts out. Virtually no SWR. Hold the button in to switch the auto ATU off. Auto ATU is now off and if I press the auto ATU button it won't tune. 
but again even though there's no auto ATU switched in we're getting 100 watts out and no VSWR so that proves beyond doubt that this antenna is almost perfectly matched to the specified bands now how do we um, actually uh, install the antenna well in my case I've attached the far end of the antenna to the house and I'm using um, what is called a spider pole that's a fiberglass pole and um, it's quite an interesting uh, way of uh, setting up an antenna because it's very lightweight which means to say it is quite easy to install now one of the advantages of using an NFED wire antenna of course is that the feeder is at the far end so you haven't got to worry about any weight at the centre of the antenna where you'd normally have in the, in the case of a dipole. Now that means that uh, the weight of an NFED wire antenna at the centre is very light and um, I've uh, used one of these spider poles. Now you may laugh at the lash up and it is a lash up but of course it was done in a very short space of time and if I go close here um, you can see that the antenna is supported um, by the spider pole and the spider pole is attached to nothing other than a common garden garden spade and I've just used some um, nylon rope to attach it but do bear in mind that there's there's no great strain on this uh, spider pole all it is doing is carrying a bit of wire at the top and it's also interesting how I've actually attached the wire to the top now at the top of the antenna um, the spider pole is, is hollow, you can put a, a screw in. And what I've done is I've put a screw in um, and uh, made a very simple arrangement of attaching the wire to it. Um, you could use a, one of these um, eye, screw eye um, connectors, um, anything that you can run the wire through and um, it, it, as I say it's, it's fairly easy to do. I'm sure you'd have your own particular ideas of the way to do it. But can't emphasize more than the fact that the actual support weight of a wire is very very low indeed. One of the things you can do with an NFED wire of course is use it as an inverted V and I think that's one of the most effective ways and simplest ways of installing it uh, because you've got the centre of the antenna at the point of uh, maximum height which is quite important for horizontal antenna and uh, it only requires a single support. You can put a short mast at one end and the you can attach it to the house at the other end as I as I've done but uh, the possibilities are endless and another way of course is an inverted L um, uh, installation but I really like the spider pole uh, it's so simple now it actually um, telescopes of course and how does it lock well it really um, it, it functions on the fact that each uh, section of the pole has got a slight taper on it and as you pull it out um, just before it gets to the point where it normally come out of the tube uh, the diameter is too large and it locks and all you do is just pull it you just pull it up until it locks um, short term I found that um, there's no problem with unlocking at all just by pushing it down I guess if you're going to make it a permanent installation some tape around each joint would be sensible because then it would be much easier um, at a later date to take it down after it had weathered for I don't know one or two years uh, but it's non-conductive, um, you can run feeder down it if you wish, but as I say, um, from my point of view it's far easier um, to just run wire through it because there's no weight at all. So that's my take on the uh, spider pole. Um, it's very cost effective and also I find that my antenna, in-fed wire antenna, is also very very good. So give it a try you won't be disappointed and uh, these items are available of course on the Waters and Stanton website